Well, how do we unpack that one? Race number one from Moto2 and Motoland Aragon. Your pole setter, Alberto Fernandez, took the whole shot from pole position ahead of Fernandez. However, it was Matea Castanet, who at this moment in time, with Garcia shuffled back in the pack, was looking to take over the lead in the championship. Nicolas Spinelli made some moves early on. However, Roberto Garcia from 10th on the grid was already up to fourth spot at the beginning of lap number four. He then made this move for the podium play on Eric Fernandez, and we thought at this time being it well would be Garcia that could be off and running. Castellini was being shuffled back here ever more as we had this crash for Taiga Hada. Hopefully, the Japanese rider would well be back out for race number two. Eric Fernandez he regrouped and was already back into the lead of the race. Garcia looked like he might be coming into tire troubles as Sura, who from 12th on the grid, was making his way through the field before making this move on Eric. Fernandez and then Unai Aradri punted out Garcia for third place. But Garcia regrouped once again and then he started making a play on victory with only a handful of laps remaining. Fernandez and Cassidy, they were married back and forth in fifth spot. It looked like they were out for the count before Fernandez unleashed the speed in the closing stages of the race before moving into second. But it was this battle on the final lap that we'll, we'll be talking about for years to come. Sura versus Fernandez, round the outside at turns 12. Up the outside for 13 gold went Sura. But Fernandez was not done and dusted. The 17-year-old swooped across the front of Sura into the final corner. The Fennet Work Racing Team Rider crossed the line for his first victory in Moto2 as Fernandez. Fernandez took second place, his first podium in Moto2. But nobody could stop your first-time winner, Alberto Fernandez.